All right, it's Casey Camera Boy here working on a First Amendment audit. Uh, we're going to report a hit and run that just happened in front of us. Me and Tulare witnessed that, and they just left the cops. So, yeah, buddy. They probably called the ambulance. That's for them because they feel injured. She's going to file a, a workers' compensation claim. Damn. Let's turn oh! Oh, damn, bro. He's gonna have to get drug tested. Yeah, He's gonna have to get drug tested. Pull over, bro. Damn, bro, you got that, huh? Oh, bro. Alrighty, so we're here now. Is there a supervisor available? We want to report an accident. Yeah, hit and run. Yeah. All right. It happened by the EECU bank. I think it's on Plan or something, at the bank. Yeah, we actually got video of it. We got video of it. All of in Main? Yeah, Main Street. <laughs> okay, here's, here's the two vehicles that crashed. <laughs> Those are the two vehicles that crashed there. We need the people drug tested now. They do. Oh, on the two yeah, they yeah. Just... just in case they want to file for workers' comp, if they're positive for any substance, they're just going to avoid their we workers' tried, comp. We tried, stop, we tried stopping them, but they didn't listen. They just took off on us. You can put me anonymously or a good citizen. I will appreciate you. You don't have any contact, no phone number or I think you got me on file since last time. I was like four or five years ago here, but it's cool. You look me up later if you want. All right, thank you. Dude, my finger still hurt. I'm a little traumatized right now to witness that accident. It was... Main, car, north. Car number 3377. Yep. We're gonna need him drug tested. Car number what? 3377, I believe. That's the vehicle number. Oh. Scary stuff. Hey, I heard something about this department that some um, female workers here get mistreated by the male supervisors and sometimes the female employees get less hours than the male employees. Have you heard anything about that? I, I actually got a letter from someone here at the police department that sent it anonymously and I know it was from someone from that department. Well, if you're aware of that or not aware of that, you might want to pay attention to your hours and other male employees' hours. And if you get mistreated, you can always get a hold of me and you can write them out. I put them on check and expose them. Just letting you know. I don't care who they are, it can be your chief. I'm good at exposing, let me tell you that. People like me, they send me tips like that. People from inside send me tips like that. So I'm telling you what I know. Okay, are you gonna guys sit down and wait in the lobby? All right. Or be uh, we'll be chilling around okay. and yeah. Thank you. Yeah, they actually sent me a letter, bro, from here stating that the female employees here get less hours than the male employees and they get mistreated and kind of like sexual harassment or something. So if you're watching, let me know. We'll be outside. Actually, I apologize. I need a public records request form so I can um, uh, try to pull out the officers involved in the accident because I'm assuming there's going to be a report. Uh. Now, no joke, someone from this department sent me a letter straight to my house. And I know it was from here because he had the police department, except that they didn't put the name. Yeah, so. I'll take the paper and I'll send it. Because oh, I got a business. It? Yeah, okay. I got the business address, so I'll just send it from there. Yeah, we have two ways you can send it. Right okay, can I just. Oh, email it as well. Oh, perfect. Even better. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Are you the supervisor? Are you the supervisor? 
Yeah. No? Do you know where the supervisor is at? Yeah, let me find her. Okay. Oh, I didn't know anything about that. Jeez, they're taking forever. Trying to give me the number on here. She's trying to get the info. Are you the supervisor? Alrighty, hey, I was witness to a crash that happened between uh, two uh, city vehicles of your uh, police officers, and they just left the scene. So, so they're doing a report on that? Uh, can I have a report number or something on that? So whenever an officer, if it's like a minor crash like that, they can just... So, oh, so you guys don't take the report. Sorry, is the CHP coming or is the CHP? I don't want to talk loud. There's a CHP here in Yeah, yeah, but are they gonna come? Are they gonna? You guys are gonna submit it electronically or? They have to do the report themselves. So either they're gonna come here or the officers go there. I'm not sure at this point. Hmm. So we don't take. So if anything happens. Another agency has to take the investigation. Just like a police shootout, kind yeah. of? Do you have yeah, a different yeah. agency? Yeah. Oh, it, so this doesn't get investigated, but like internal affairs or something? Okay. Well, it could, but depending on CHP's I'm gonna call, I'm gonna they call report, then they go from there, but yeah. I'm sure they do. I'm going to call them and ask if they Okay. Um, in fact, as far as the actual report of the accident, another agency will take it. And so I would say it's CHP. Do you know the officers that were involved in it? Um, I don't know. Uh, if you can, because I know it was. Will be able to give you all provide me all that. Because I know it was Madrigal, the okay. f the uh, the responding officer at first. I don't know if she's an officer or uh, sergeant. I don't know. And then the other one, uh, well, it was Salas on the other vehicle that hit Madrigal's vehicle. Oh, it just happened, right? It just happened, my like, like. Yeah, so I don't have a whole lot, but I know CHP is going to be one that's going to be doing it. Okay. Um, I can give you their phone number. So I think I'll sure pull up on them. I'll, I'll, I'll go. Uh, question: Are they are, are the officers just involved? Are they gonna get drug tested just in case they wanna file for for workers' comp? CHP, I, I can't answer. That. I mean, cause what if they file for workers' comp and they were actually under the uh, I mean influence of a su substance and then I mean that's gonna I, void I their whole. I can't answer that. Do you have a business card so I can get a hold of you? Okay, so uh, you said uh, oh Rickers, so you're the. This is Rickers. Records. This is records. But you're the supervisor, right? This is, yes. What's your name? Diana. Can you like write it yeah. down just in case? Because I, I I forget. I won't be able to give you anything CHP because we're not the reporting party. We're well, not the officer doing the investigation. So well, if you need a report, you don't have to get that from CHP. Okay. Remember how I said we're not doing yes, yes. I copy that. But uh, can I just place a public records request for that report she here? A, she gave me a form, but uh, I'm just gonna forward. So um. For the police report, do I need to place a public records at the CHP? Yes, for that. For that report, and then for their file or anything they can get off of them, I have to place it here. Correct. Another question, are you being mistreated here at the police department by male officers? No. No? Are you getting good hours? Good hours? Like good working hours, full time? Are you getting more or less hours than male officers? Yes, I'm working full time. Full time, 37 hours or 40 hours? 40 hours. Okay, just making sure, because I, I was telling the other lady there that I got a letter from a female um, person here from this department. It was from this department because the letter said, but it didn't have a name, which is blank, uh, informing me that there is mis mistreatment here from male supervisors towards female officers or workers, and some of them are either getting paid less than a male officer or they're getting less hours than a male officer. Are you aware of that? Okay, you might want to take a look at that. I mean, just saying. If you know anything, you can always write me. I'm sure you guys have my info. Oh, okay. What is your name? Do you have a card? Abad. Huh? No, I don't have a card, but my name is Abad. I mean, you. Abad. A B A D. A B A D. Like a bad boy, but I'm not a bad boy. Oh, gotcha. I'm a good boy, all right? <laughs> okay. But I'm, I'm being serious. I did get a letter, and that concerned me because it was from this department because I'm. Um, department meeting. The police, police department. Or police department. Oh, the police uh, department. Someone from the police department, they send it. And he had like in the corner, he had a um, uh, Porterville PD or something. But uh, the person who sent it to me didn't wrote their name. And even inside the letter, there was no name. It was just anonymously uh, sent to me. And it was sent to my house. I know because when I did a video, well, I did a lot of videos about four years ago before COVID here. 
um, I start to get like uh, comments from people either from workers from the city telling me, oh, we know who you are, this and that, blah, blah, blah. And sure enough, like a week later, four days later, I get, a, I get that type of letter to send to my house, directly to my house. Because on my videos, I have a, my business um, address where people can write me on my channel. Every video, it shows my business. Uh, you'll find out. You'll, you'll find I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure I got people that will send you my information, but you guys have my information, some of you, but I just wanted to be clear, you know, and just ask you personally or ask a female person that works here about that. I'm sure you guys won't tell me, but if you know something, you can always say, you can always write to me and I investigate further, but thank you for your time, though. Alrighty, stay safe, Diana, right? Alrighty, thank you. Alright, bye-bye. Alright, so I guess I'm going to pull up to the CHP now. Jeez, bro. All right, Casey, camera boy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We're ready right here. Yeah, I'm going to have to send a public records request on that. Jeez, Christ. It's, I'm sweating balls from there. It's super hot. I don't even got the air on or something. Poor ladies there. See, I'm telling you, that's have used. That's have used. They have him on their hot weather there. Jeez. Actually, they're right. She was right. CHP is here. See? That's a CHP over there. I don't know if you guys can see, but that's CHP. There you go. See? CHP there came out. Damn, that's it. They're going to get truck tested. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. So, somewhere over there should be a CHP. Somewhere over there. You should see them. I'm telling you. Yep, there you go. They're right there. Doing the investigation. What's popping? Damn, they're tripping straight up. Yep, right there. They are right there. Damn, Gina. I'm telling you. Wow, Porterville PD never fails. They're somewhere over there, chilling like big villains. Damn, that's a sick crash. Well, I guess I'm gonna leave it as is. Damn. Jimmy Bob's, well, that's it, Casey Camera boy. Uh huh, no one's saying. They're right there. They're explaining what happened. We're witnesses. We seen what happened. You guys are gonna have to get drug tested. <laughs> Let's go. They're gonna get the drug test of shame. They're gonna have to get the drug test of shame. On the real though. What's going on? Huh? What's going on? Going to lunch. Are you going lunch? Already? Damn.